particular about the equipment that I use with my dogs. Biothane is my number one favorite thing to have leads and collars made out of because it doesn't show wear, dirt, it's waterproof, it is absolutely perfect for outdoors and just all around use. I also have been having issues with standard clips like after a while they will get hard to open they just I don't know like I've been looking for something stronger yet not super heavy I love the clips that are on my dog's tactical collars the cobra clips and I saw these I think they're called frog clips as I have large dogs every time it seems like if if i'm ordering online and i'm ordering a lead meant for a large strong dog the leads always seem to be very thick which is okay but i generally like a thinner lead it's easier to accordion up in my hand it's easier for me to deal with i just prefer a thinner lead so when i saw that i could get both the frog clip and a thinner lead in the extreme biothane lead from Tactipup. I knew I wanted to try. So this is the portion right here. I'm sorry about my nails, guys. Can't get in to have my nails done. Quarantine life. It appears very strong. It says it is made in Italy. And it is a patented design. Until I just got it today because it is still rubber banded. It appears to be well made. I'll give you a close up look at it. So we are out this morning. Uh, it's a little bit after 7 a.m. And I am trying out the Tactipup Extreme Biothane Leash. I absolutely love how light it is. And it's biothane, so biothane is really supposed to be tough. I love the clasp. It's not heavy at all. However, I'm concerned because the biothane itself is cut really thin. I actually brought another leash today. I brought another lead as a backup, just in case. because he is a decent puller at this stage. But I figure anything with a clasp like this, advertised as extreme. Oh, and now we're pooping. So as I was saying before we were interrupted by nature calling, um, I would hope that, whoops, I would hope that anything called extreme with a clasp like this, would definitely be able to withstand some pulling. The con right now at this stage is, if I had to guess, I'd say he was probably 60 pounds. That is a concern I have with this lead is that it's very thin. Which would be awesome if, uh, 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 no, no. Which would be awesome if it holds up. It costs, me $49.99. I paid three additional dollars to have it made six feet long instead of four. And with shipping, I believe it was $58 and something. So it's, it's quite an investment for a lead. But I wanted something that was going to be durable, that was going to hold up to strong dogs, and then we'd be able to use out in the woods, you know, being scraped against trees, 
bushes, rocks, whatever. Also notice that the lead, see I have other biothane leads and I'm thinking it's because this one is so thin that it, it crinkles up like this very easily. My others have a bit of weight to them, so they don't do that. But I love the fact that this one is not very wide this lead for two two days and so far one of the things that I've noticed may or may not bug people easy is it does not have a rotating clip on the end and wait see there's no rotation right there it will twist quite a bit I was also hearing a lot of clicking. It will tend to get, good boy, it does tend to get caught like this. So sometimes, okay, let's go. Good boy. It will break itself loose. I just don't want it to rotate far enough to where the loop actually goes over the release. That would be an issue. If you got a D-ring that was large enough, I don't know whether or not it would. I did actually reach out to the company that makes this leash and they said that unless it was nicked or chewed, that it has been tested against 1,000 pounds of pull. So we should be okay. And I am actually walking with no backup lead today so let's hope nothing happens but as you can see we're just walking along and there's quite a lot of twist because there's not that pivoting clip rotating clip I should say it's it's a piece of plastic flowing come on <laughs> God, what? It's a piece of plastic. <laughs> okay, so I've been using this lead now for probably two months, I believe. And is currently about 80 pounds. So far, the lead has worked really well for us. I will say, you know, because it is biothane, if it is raining out, the lead is very slippery. I will also say that I am still a little bit nervous at how thin it is. It is not very thick at all. I like the width very much. This is a perfect, perfect width, but the thickness leaves something to be desired. Hopefully it's going to last us a really long time. Um, with regard to the price, it was pretty pricey as far as leads go. It was a $50 lead. And in my opinion, I don't feel that it's a $50 lead. I mean, I just, for $50, I expected a little more thickness, I guess, in the biothane itself. I think $50 is a bit steep as far as the price goes. I have no problem paying $50 for a lead that is going to last a lifetime so we'll see where we're at in a year with this lead and if it holds up keep watching and we will update as time goes on with how the lead is holding up but i do like it i just wish like i said my my two main complaints were the thickness of the biothane and there is no swivel mechanism.